For more than a week now, animal rescues from all over West Texas have been in and out of a property in Pleasant Farms in Hector County. They saved around 100 to 120 dogs. The sheriff says were being hoarded. Now those rescues are dealing with rehabilitating them. Rachel Robinson found out what they're trying to do to save them. Rachel. Yeah, that's exactly right, Crystal. A lot of these dogs were in bad shape. They had tick fever, worms, and wounds from fighting with each other. But the good news is, is that these dogs are in good hands and they are on the way, their way to becoming regular dogs. This is what you do. The Midland Humane Coalition and Sassy's Dog Rescue have some of the 120 dogs that were rescued from just one man's home in Odessa. After going out there, discovering what we were up against, you know, we, we just had to regroup, come up with a plan on how we were going to handle it because you could tell that it was way out of control. Each organization took as many dogs as they could and they're doing what they can to make sure they're healthy. A lot of these dogs are really broken. Luckily, this little guy, Deacon, he's, uh, he's bounced back because he's young, but a lot of the adults, They've just lived there as breeding dogs and they know nothing else. And they've had to fight for everything out there. We're grateful now that he's gonna get the help he needs and the puppies and other dogs are gonna get the help they need. And this is something that rescues want to stop. We don't wanna keep doing this. It's time to get higher ups involved and start addressing the hoarding situations out here because there's so many, many that we don't know about, I'm sure, and it happens all the time. And we've got to get people to be held accountable to for their actions. And Terry believes this needs to be a group effort. It's got to be community effort, city officials, law enforcement, everything across the board. A neighbor sees something that's not right, hoarding, cruelty, neglect, where can they go to report it and get something done? We have to get things done. Right now, a lot of these dogs are being isolated and getting medical attention. All of these groups do need fosters to watch these dogs as well, as well as donations for medical care, food, and shelter. There's also a pending case against the dog owner right now. The nonprofits are gathering evidence to give to law enforcement.